Yo, what up people? Dondas here. So the past two days, I have changed my strategy with the VV Master Collector program article rolling out with the updates. And I've been selling off a bunch of my duplicates in order to secure more rares, ultra rare, and secret rare of the comic books. And let me tell you why. So with the comic books that I've been purchasing up, I've been focusing and looking for sub 1700s. And reason for that is for the extra 50% bonus point for those serial numbers. So with the Master Collector program, if you have the first 5% uh, of the serial, then you get the extra 50% points. So Vive, they keep their first um, 40 of each edition. And then within each comic books, there is five different editions from Secret Rare, Ultra Rare, Rare, Common, Uncommon. So VV keeps the first 40 of each one. So that's a total of 200. So basically, um, if a comic book has 30,000 editions, you time that by 0.05, they'll give you 1,500 plus the 200 that VV keeps. So basically, if there's um, a serial number that's sub 1,700, then more than likely you should be receiving an extra 50% points for those rarity. So within this example, there um, keep in mind it's all comic books that are uh, sub 30,000 edition. So with um any, with any comic book that has thirty thousand edition, then you will want to look for sub seventeen hundreds, and then and if you get a sub seventeen hundred of the rare, you get two points plus the additional fifty percent, so you'll get three points total for that. If you get an ultra rare, it's a standard three points plus the fifty percent, so you get four point five points every reoccurring day points for that. And for the secret rare, um, you get six daily points plus the fifty percent bonus. You would be receiving nine points daily for that secret rare comic book. All right. So one of my big purchases that I made today was um, I bought two copies of the rare. They're both sub uh, seventeen hundred in this case. And let me show you the price I paid for both of them. This one I paid sixty nine gems only when the floor is at forty. So that was a steal. Here I paid um, 55 gems for, once again, sub 1,000 for only 55 gems. So I only paid $15 over whatever the floor price was. That was a steal as well. Um, next one I purchased was a secret rare, uh, serial number 1313, so sub 1,700 as well. And I paid um, 295 for this one. And uh, the, the, But I didn't pay 295, scratch that. I paid 399 with the floor being at 295. So I paid a little over a hundred extra for that serial number. Next, I got a Young Avenger Secret Rare. Let's see which one I got. I bought the Secret Rare over here. I think I got two copies of them. Um, both of them are both sub-1700, as you can see. And let's see how much I paid for them. So for this one, I paid um, 389 and with the floor price being at $300, so I paid $89.99 more for a sub uh, $1,700. And next would be $1,654. This one, I paid um, $390 for it with the floor being at $300, so I paid $90 more. So I'll like a flip one of these two down the line once the once people figure out the master uh, master collector program more and start targeting these a bit more, and also got this uh, rare one right over here. Um, I paid sixty six gems for that when the floor is at thirty nine, so I paid about what twenty seven gems on top of whatever it was for floor price, just to get that fifty percent bonus. Next, I got a, what rarity is this one? I don't even know. A rare Avengers for um, $60, where the floor is at $40.99. So I paid about $20 extra for that one. And I also got a sub-1700 Avengers number 47 of the secret rare. So I paid um, $4.95, where the floor is at 380 currently, so I paid about um, $115 more to get 50% additional points. Next, I got the Ultimate Spider Man issue number one of the Secret Rare. I paid $449 for that, where the floor is at $394 for uh, sub $1,700. So I paid, yeah, like about 50 gems more only for this one. Great deal.